Hey guys, it's uh, Wobby here from Wash Game, and welcome to a, a GPU upgrade. Okay, in this video, you're gonna need three items for your upgrade. First item is a posi drive screwdriver. The next item you need is uh, the two actual power connectors. So this is a six pin to six pin, and a on the other side is an eight pin to an eight pin. The third item is a upgraded graphics card. So what I have here is an EVGA uh, super overclocked 980. Um, okay, so we're gonna set this aside there. Okay, guys. So your first job you're gonna do is sort of get into the machine itself. So this uh, two screws we're gonna get access to. First job you need is to take the lid off. So easiest way to actually lock in the back of the case. On the left hand side, see a bit of a notch. You just need to pry this up and uh, take the cover off. And there you go. The top cover. Place that to the side. Next job is to actually get to the screw on the top. So he's located there next to the um, CPU cooler fans. Get your posi drive screwdriver. Okay, the next job is to actually turn the machine completely right over. And the second one is located just under the uh, warranty sticker. There you go. <coughs> okay, once you've got the uh, screw off, grab your case. Now you want to be looking at the front of your case, sort of like that, so you can see your uh, Republic of Gamers and the information on the corner. Lay it on its back. I'll tell the camera. Okay, so grab your machine like that with both hands. And you need to slide it to the left, so like that, so until you hear a bit of a clank. Then lift your machine and just under there. You should see two wires. I'll just lift the camera back up. Uh, two wires, easy for your lights. So be careful um, and uh, basically unplug them. Okay, and you grab your case and you can uh, set that aside. Okay, the next job to do is actually take off the back uh, cover itself. You see the IO cover. You need to and uh, do a couple of screws, but uh, they're missing on mine, so you've got one in the corner there. I'm going to take that one off. There's one located in the middle section there, and also around the other side. Take this back one off. Okay, so once you've done that, so load the camera. Once you've done that, just basically pull the cover off. There you go, there's the um, back. The shield. Okay, once you get to this next stage, you need to get access to the graphics card itself so you can see it's located in this metal case itself. You need to take out two screws and they're located, um, if I can show you on the camera, there's one located one by there, there's also located one uh, right there in the corner. So we'll take those two out. Place your screws in a safe place because you'll be using them to put back in later on. Then you need to, this actual um, case itself, this has to come up. It's got to come, vert, it's got to come ver vertical, a horizontal or whatever. So lift this up. And there you go. So basically this is the cage itself. Uh, some people have reported the, that people have said that they don't really need it, which is fine. Now on the, on the bottom of the card you need the uh, PCI riser card. Uh, this just allows you to uh, uh, you know, take it, take the PCI and angle it. Take that off. Next job, 
is to actually take the old graphics card out of this computer. You need to take out one screw which is located in the corner. So get your screwdriver and take that screw up in the corner. Then you need to lift this flap up itself. So give it a lifter. Might be a bit tough at first. And then just simply pull out your graphics card. This is the 750. And uh, I'll give you the information what the card number is on the back. So you can see it. It's a 750 uh, 2 gigabyte card. We're going to be fitting this card, which is my EVGA 980. Okay, yeah, so basically we're going to be putting this card in, which is the EVJ 980. Okay, so some people have said, okay, so let's put it into my cage. So just simply grab the cage and slot the, slot the new graphics card into the cage. What you need to do is actually line up the holes on the top of the graphics card so if you can see the line up you have to line up the holes like that so when you flip the card over you will basically see a uh, you can basically put the screw in there just put the screw in and tighten it up okay the next job in your box or you might have to purchase it is basically two power leads this is what's going to supply the power to your graphics card. So the first lead is a 6 pin to 6 pin, as you can see. The second lead is a 8 pin to 8 pin. I'll show you there. So there you go, there's an 8 pin to 8 pin. Okay, so within the, within the PC itself, do a bit of a close-up in that section. In the far corner, you should have uh, the two power connectors, which are these two here. This is the two power connectors we use, use for the graphics card. There's also a chip, a pin which you need to change, which is located right by there. I'll bring it up real close if you can. It's the, uh, what is the location? What's the code? Uh, J, JDC11. And basically, all you need to do for that is pick the, pull the pin out the little pin and you put it to the left okay let's see if I can bring it up close to you so you can see it's to the left put it down so again like I said you need your power connector so when you put your second power supply in then um, that pin will activate telling it on the computer to use these power connectors. So the next hard, this is the hard part and it's uh, one of the trickiest and a tricky part now is to actually get the power connectors in and that is to actually first of all plug in into the computer itself. So plug one side in and connect it like that Then you get your second one and you need to plug them in. Trying to crimp the wires will help to actually put it in. Okay, so best you have the two wires in. Get your, get your graphics card next. And I've got two six pin. Now, if you notice on my graphics card, I've got one six pin, which would be perfectly fine to plug into. But my other one, So the second one is going to be is an 8 pin, but simply on the very end of it should be able to pull two pins off. So basically you end up with a 6 pin. So even though it was an 8 pin from the motherboard, it's a 6 pin here, it's perfectly fine. It's um, it's not a problem to have that 
loose two pin there so basically plug that into your graphics card and then we need to turn the graphics card over and we need to put the wires as close as you can into the side it's going to go to the top there and we need to drop the graphics card into place don't forget to uh, also add your piezo riser card to the card itself so i've added my piezo riser card you can see over there uh, Turn the computer around so I have a bit more access closer to me myself. Um, just need to fiddle with it. Let's let that in. And there we go, guys. And that's how you install the graphics card. Guys, that's how you insert the graphics card. That's what it should look like. Uh, this is a, like I said, an open card. So I might push a bit of heat into the actual, into that area itself into that zone itself but hopefully it'll keep it uh, it should be too bad uh, reverse of the process you basically get your case and, but you need to put the back cover on first so get your back cover put your back cover on first and, Three screws in, like I said, two on the sides, one on the top. Then get your case next. Get your case next. Get your little fan headers, plug your little fan headers in, and then eventually just put your case on and uh, guys that's how you install a uh, graphics card into your new Zeus computer so uh, hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye now Six. Four, three, seven,